Hello YouTube, well, I'm back and what I got for you today is the World Tech Toys Striker Spy Drone. Uh, it's got uh, 3D flight, video ca picture camera, 4 main rotors, uh, 2.4 gigahertz, uh, it's for outdoor flight, and comes with a memory card and adapter included. So uh, let's open up this box and see what we got here. Uh, I'm sure you can hear my air conditioner blowing in the background here, but it is blazing hot outside and I'm not going to sit in here with and sweat while I'm doing this. So, here's what's in the box. You got the quad, and it comes with a little camera here. As for quality of the camera, I wouldn't know. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but we're going to get a flight out here and test all that too. Uh, you can remove the camera. There's two screws right there. You can remove the camera and unplug it. There's a battery in the quad already. And to plug it in, it is right there, that hole. It's a micro low seat, it looks like. And there's an on off switch here on the back. Okay. Getting that tucked in when it's plugged in might be a pain, but uh, we'll find out. But uh, as for the quad, props are pretty flexible. I don't know uh, how well they hold up. Got uh, some good flexibility with these, but they could end up hitting the props too in a crash. The thing is pretty light. Um, I don't have a big enough scale to set this on to actually weigh it, but uh, it feels like maybe 100 grams, 150 grams, maybe. So it is uh, brushed motors and they set in going this way and there's a gear so it's a geared system so that doesn't look too shabby all right the transmitter it is a larger transmitter it comes with these little protective pieces here and it is not an altitude hold so you do have a mode 2 with your altitude uh, and this thing actually has batteries in it. It takes four double A's. Uh, let's turn this on and see what the screen looks like here. Apparently, gives you your signal strength, uh, which I don't know how that's going to be because uh, it's already showing the full signal and there's no uh, quad turned on. Battery strength, and it's just got uh, pretty much. Yeah, there we go. It actually shows you your throttle there. But uh, you have your rate switch right here. You have, this button does nothing. There's three rates supposedly. This is to do. This is to do your video. This is to do your uh, take a snapshot. You got your flip switch over here. And I can't remember what this one is off the top of my head. But you got uh, your trim switches here. These apparently do nothing. You got a tr look like trim switch there. You got your yaw, pitch and roll trim switches. Looks like you got a way to clip in a lanyard. Uh, let me get the book out and we'll after a minute here and we'll find out what all these buttons do exactly. So let's set that aside. Now you got one battery in the quad already and it comes with two batteries all together and they are 3.7 volt uh, 500 milliamp batteries so you got a second battery there let's get this box out of the way okay so you got the second battery we have four extra props get those out we have a battery uh, charger a USB charger with the micro -losi. you get a screwdriver and you have a USB dongle and you have an SD card this is a 1 gig SD card I already checked to see how big it was so you got a card reader and an SD card and the SD card goes in the camera right there in the back so they're nice enough to give you an SD card too it's only a 1 gig but uh, 
I'm sure that's probably like a 0.3 megapixel camera or something. I haven't tested it yet, so I don't know exactly what it is. But you got all that with the quad. So let's get the book out. And the book is, uh, looks pretty good. Oh, wait a minute. Here you go. Your speed control is the top. Yeah, I said the speed control is here. This is actually for headless mode. And the speed control is up here. This button does nothing. And of course your video and picture. This is your flip switch. Yep, flip stunts and trims. So that's pretty much all there is there. Not much to it. Uh, there's nothing in here about calibrating. I've looked through this and I have not seen anything about calibrating the quad. So there is syncing the LCD interface in here. But I do not see anything about calibrating it level or anything like that. It shows you your, what they call easy mode is actually headless. So, yeah, there's nothing in here about calibration. So I'm going to have to figure out how to calibrate that, and I'll do that during the flight test to show you. But this is what you got in here. It's uh, definitely a toy-grade quad. And uh, I did pick this up from somebody that didn't want it. It was brand new in the box. So they just sold it to me for a few dollars, and I figure, what the heck, it's another video. So, yep. The W, what is it? World Tech Toys Striker Spy Quad, Spy Drone, with camera. So I'm going to get this thing together, do a flight check, uh, flight test on it, demonstrate the camera, demonstrate the transmitter. Once I figure out, especially how to calibrate it, so I can show you guys that too. But yeah, I really like this. They actually gave you a uh, one gig SD card with a uh, USB reader got your charger two batteries even and four extra props so it is not a bad I mean it's a basic looking quad not bad looking but it is quite light I don't know how durable this is going to be I guess we'll find out after a few crashes but uh, yeah let's get out here and I'll get it charged up and we'll do a flight test and hold on. okay flight Go. test on the striker spy drone let's get this thing turned on transmitter find it okay let's see if this camera is going to work yep apparently it's going to work the light came on so we're going to try and do some video and a couple of snapshots as well so let's see what this thing does get it up here and do snapshot Another snapshot. This is rate one, and that breeze is just a little breeze is just taking this thing away. I'm in rate three now, and that little breeze is still taking it away. I can't even get the video button. All right, there we got the video button. Should be recording now. Yes. Even the transmitter, the transmitter is just not responding like it should be doing. I mean, it'll respond one time I push the stick and the next time it won't do anything, hardly at all. So I figured on the unboxing, just by looking at this thing, that it was junk and it is junk. It is junk. I do not recommend this whatsoever. Very slight breeze in the air. It's not even, there's no power to it. I'm full throttle and it's barely moving. I don't even recommend this for a beginner because even a beginner would never learn how to fly with this thing. It is the transmitter itself, the responsiveness of this thing is absolutely horrible. It's supposed to do flips, but I don't know if I can do them. Because it's so unresponsive. Let's, let's get it up there and try a flip. 
Oh, it doesn't flip okay. I think the second trip responded. I'm full throttle, it didn't even recover from that flip. And of course we got a helicopter flying over us. It's actually a life flight helicopter to the hospital. Let's try another flip real quick. Yeah, and full throttle, no recovery. This thing is so underpowered. Absolutely horrible response. Doesn't want to turn one time and turns another time. Pitch roll, everything. It's just uh, half the time it's responding, the other half it's not. Let's get back and forth here for a second. Yeah. I'm full throttle. That's full throttle. It's not doing squat. We're not even halfway with the battery yet. All right. Go full throttle, full throttle, full throttle. That's it. There is nothing that this has that I would recommend. I mean, it's got a camera on it, but uh, the camera, I don't, it's, it's junk too. It's like a 0.3 megapixel. See, this is full throttle. It's not even staying up in the air anymore. And it's not responding to my stick commands. Not every time. There's just no way. This is, this is junk. And believe it or not, this thing sells for around $80. That's the average price I've seen on this thing. It's $80, and it is junk. The only reason they're charging that much is probably because it has a camera, and the camera is not worth no $80. The quad itself, worthless. Look at this. Full throttle. Doesn't even want to stay on the air. And the battery isn't even spent yet. I'm full throttle right now. It's not responding to my commands hardly. Now that that one it responded good. The breeze has calmed down to nothing now, pretty much. But it's still not responding. There's full throttle. Still hit the ground. I can't even see it there. Nope. That's it. This thing is it is junk. Whatever you do, I would not recommend this. Striker Spy Drone, uh, what is it, World Tech Toys? Yeah, that's about all it is, a toy. Probably be better suited for using it as a Ninja Star than a quad. <laughs> that's about all it's good for. But uh, yeah, it's, it's junk. It is junk. There's no way I'd recommend this. So I don't even know if I got any video on that. It showed it was recording, but I'll find out when I get this into a computer. So yeah, no way. Do not recommend Striker Spy Drone. Not worth it. Thanks for watching.